down, but look, you crook it up. All right, so get out, I want you to see it. So that way you know what it's like. Skeezy on the beat, uh. What's up, YouTube? We back with another bang. And yeah, I'm about to go get breakfast. We are actually on phase two for us as a company. We did our first 30 days. Now we're going to do our, our 60, but in the midst of doing our 60, we have a driver now, which is my brother. So I'm training him this week, and I'm going to be focusing on dispatching. You got it, dispatching. So most of these videos that will be coming next will be about training the driver and about dispatching, guys. So let's stick around. Let's see what's on the breakfast menu today. You gotta hit him with that spray. You gotta hit him with that spray. So we had our breakfast, breakfast is done. Uh, it's about 7.30, time to get on the computer and sit by the computer and wait um, till eight o'clock. It's go time at eight o'clock, Easter Standard Time. Easter Standard Time, it's go time at eight. What's up? Hey. Doing pre traffic space, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, hold on, you gotta put your own, um, you gotta put that back in. So, remember, guys, make sure you check all four tires that way you know where you're sitting at. So, always check this, make sure you know it's where it's supposed to be at. You can see it right there. This is the transmission. All right, and then here's your engine jump. You see how it got the notches on it? You're just gonna turn it like that, and then you can lift it up. Like that. The first one you wipe, wipe away. Sometimes I stand on the tire. You're gonna have to hold it because that stick long. Hold the top part of it. Yeah, gotta help it go in. So we good. Yeah, clean it, put it back in. The oil is super dark because it's about time to get it changed. It's time to get it changed. So you will check that. Check all of your coolant. Making sure everything good. Then that's pretty much it. Make it. Make sure you see no leaks. Make sure it ain't no leaks. Check your engine. Make sure you don't see like any splats or anything like that. This right here is your power steering fluid. So she she pretty much filled that too. And then, so you just close it back down. We go. With these latches, you can hook them. Hook them underneath like that. You gotta hook it. Like that. See that right there? You're gonna hook it and then put it in. There you go. You're gonna cut it on, then you're gonna test all your lights. Okay, that button right there. You know, then just walk around, test all your lights. They go off and 
then they come back on. They still be going around, see they back on. That made it worse. You just check all of them. Make sure when you're looking at the tires, make sure you check for like nails and stuff like that. Got everything in the GPS. We skipped the step. I forgot to show y'all that stuff, but we'll get it to y'all on a later date. So yeah, um, put on the brake and then release your brake. This right here, you're gonna have to turn wide and probably back up. Look, y'all, remember if you got a cruise control in this and in, in your truck, use your cruise, cruise control because it will. Uh, save your knees. Your knees are hurt from driving this truck long distances. So hit that one button over there on the top and you'll see it say cruise throttle over there. Then up there in the, um, right there in your little dash thing, then you're going to hit this button right here at the top. Hit it. And then I'll set the cruise. Alright, and then this right here, you can see your speed right here. Right here, it'll show you your speed and then you can go up and down right here. For how fast you want to go. Uh, it's about his first time backing in, y'all. So you see how the dock doors is, right? Yeah. See how they got the, the yellows? So it's two yellows on it. Alright, you're going to put your mirrors, and you're going to put your mirrors, alright, and you're going to put your back end in between the two yellows. That's how you're going to know where to back up at. Alright, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Then you're just going to watch your size and make sure you don't hit anything. I want you to park in two because I want you to get the feel of parking next to something. All right, so you're going to roll up in there and pull around. You want me to go like this? No, nah, you can go with whichever one you, I will go this way. Yeah, you can go whatever way you want. I'm going to get out. I'm going to get out though and let you do your thing. All right, yo, we told him. All right, y'all, so we told him to park on two because we wanted him to get the feel of parking next to something, right? Because it could have been easy for him to park on one. But we always gonna challenge people. Park on two, and let's see what he can do. All right. Right now he gonna back. Right now he backing it up. All right. I told him use. See the yellows on the thing. You are gonna use your yellows, and you are gonna put your your box in between the two yellows. All right. Cause you see, on the yellows they got bumpers. All right. See how they got the bumpers, and then they got the chokes out here. All right, y'all, he now in motion. Let's see what he got. I didn't want to stay in the truck and help him out. I wanted him to do it on his own. So let's see if he remember yellows. Back it up till you hit something. Yeah, but look, you crook it up. All right, so get out. I want you to see it, so that way you know what it's like. Okay, so 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 this box is straight, right? So you want to when you backing up, you want to make sure it's straightened, right? So because when you straighten it up, you know you tap on both sides. See, like right, right now, you only tapped on one side. See. We tap here, but we're not uh, tap there. So when they go to drop their thing out, it's not going to be even. So what I want you to do, how you correct yourself is you pull up, then you straighten it back up, and then back back. All right? And then check both sides. Let's see if both sides here. But as far as backing up, you did it. You know what I'm saying? You see, so you see what I'm talking about? See how it's crooked? The, the truck is crooked? You feel me? So because the truck is crooked, it's like that. So you want to pull up, straighten the truck up, go straight back. He almost had it first time, y'all. Almost, almost, almost. So he gonna pull up. That's enough, that's enough. You too far away now.
So now when we come back out front and we look, right? He's a lot more straight. You see what I'm saying? You good. You was good. Yeah, you was good. <laughs> now you got to do it again. Paint is made perfect, baby. All right, guys. So once you get locked in, you're gonna push your brake down, and you're gonna pull out your uh, you pull out your e-brake, so you can be stuck. Now, next thing, before you get loaded, you always want to choke your wheels. All right. So you're gonna take one of these at most spots, and you're gonna choke your wheels with it. But this one don't even fit. It ain't long enough. But you're gonna choke your wheel. Well, this, put it back put, you put it underneath for your truck, so your truck don't go right there. But they ain't got it. So as dispatchers, we sent them all of the paperwork that he needs to complete it, and the numbers that he needs. So now we're gonna go into the shipping and receiving, and we're gonna uh, we're gonna get this put on the truck. <laughs> so you should be right here. Yeah. Go ahead and um, lift your door up. Most of the time you ain't got to do all this, but lift your door up. Yeah. With the um, with string. The There's a lock. It's a lock right here. So like before you back in, go ahead and roll your door up. Like I like I told like I told them on YouTube. Yeah, it, it, it'll um, it'll go. So like another thing too, I told them on YouTube is before you back in, always check and make sure it ain't no nails or no sticks down there. Cause you see how they got all that debris down there. One of them things can get in your tires. You know what I'm saying? So I always get out, roll my door up check and make sure it ain't nothing crazy down there back on in so this is the first bol y'all they signed it already so this is our copy we already signed the copy for them so we actually gonna sign right here and then when um they get there and see how it says receive the blood shipment mm -hmm. they're gonna put it right there and sign right there once I get back in the truck. Yep, so we got one pallet. We're gonna lock it down. Tension on it. Put tension on it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Nah, crank. Let it let it go. Yeah. Don't put your hand in the middle now. Yeah, yeah, it's Take your hand from behind it. 